Hello, 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 everyone. Hopefully you are health seekers. And if not, I'm so glad you're here because eating healthy can be amazing and it protects you down the road. So uh, a good example, I have not been able to lose weight. And I mean, I was really stressing about it because I tried all the popular plans, um, keto, I lost four pounds in a year. Um, it, it, it doesn't matter what all I've tried. Um, but it was a tough haul. So I was doing intermittent fasting, actually 16, eight for a year and lost no weight. So in desperation, I went to my doctor and I was already on some antidepressants which by the way, I've now gotten off of, but um, I was put on metformin when I was tested for thyroid disease. Well, I didn't have thyroid disease, so there went that uh, answer for me, but he doubled my metformin and put me on Trulicity, of which I did one injection and it made me so sick. It's like, why am I doing this? Really, Beth, you are someone who knows that you can heal your own body. You are someone who just despises medications because one creates an issue and you may need to take another prescription for the, the side effect. I want to get to the root of the problem. And so that's how I live. And I have discovered Dr. Dr. Mindy Kells, uh Fasting for Women. And I'm changing everything up. So I'm really excited because it's nearly beet season and I did get these at the grocery. They are organic. And I'm going to roast them. So the story is I despised beets unless they were pickled with lots of sugar and lots of vinegar. Then I could eat a pickled beet. Like I couldn't eat them out of the can. They didn't have enough oomph for me and still too much of that beet flavor. But then one day, I, I was a couple years ago, I discovered roasting them and they are amazing. So I'll continue with that, but I want you to see I'm cutting these about a fourth of an inch, maybe a little bit bigger wide. And uh, you know me, Perfection is not required or expected. You may not get them even. They may not be all the same. It's fine. So anyway, when I would eat a beet, like the regular boiled beets, even the canned pickled ones, the taste of uh, uh, something about them that just turned my stomach. So it was really a physical reaction but I guess that's what not liking something is because there, I really can't think of too many foods that I just don't enjoy or like. And then, like I said, I discovered roasting. So hang on, we're going for a ride and you're about to be exposed to something new and amazing that can take the place for me, let's put it that way. For me, it takes the place of needing to eat sugary sweets. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I did forget to mention that I peeled them. So I just ran across a recipe where a woman, she basically roasts them whole, does not peel them, but she wraps them in foil. And we are lowering our toxic exposure, our toxin exposure. So I do not bake anything in or on foil because it's aluminum. It's a heavy metal. Call me crazy, but I call myself smart. So I wash I soak them, organic or not, 
in a vinegar water base or solution, one part vinegar to two additional parts, two, two, one, one, two, yeah, <laughs> two, two additional parts water. And I pretty much soak every vegetable I eat and I'm going more and more towards organic. So sliced, they're in my stainless steel roasting pan. Now I have two pans going. And by the way, pretty soon I'm going to do a video on how to remove all of this baked on fat. <laughs> but not at the moment, so let's focus. So I've sliced them and I've laid them, arranged them in the pan, and you can get really creative. I mean, you can get them pretty tight. Um, sometimes I do them moon to moon, you know, flat side to flat side, and just wiggle them around and eventually I get them all in. So they don't, it doesn't matter how crowded they are, like some vegetables. And then we're going to quickly Some might say sloppily, but that's all in the opinion of the applier. <laughs> now I used to flip them, and I would take them out, flip them. I Well, I flipped them before I put them in the oven, so that when I flipped them halfway through, all I had to do was salt them. I don't do any of that anymore. One side boiled salt. It's humid here. Salt's not coming out real well. Much better. And then I roast them. And they are delicious. 375, I'll let you know how long when I pull them out of the oven. Beautiful. These are varying degrees of doneness. I'm not exactly positive why. Um, this pan is absolutely perfect and beautiful. It's like 32 minutes. And This pan, they're still hot, so. This pan, like the smaller one is done. Ooh, beautiful. And it's not that these aren't done, but the longer you roast them, the less moisture they have and the sweeter they get. So I used to have to, um, have them really roasted like this and so if if you're not a fan of beets like I wasn't then you can start there you just want to roast them at 375 but roast them longer 45 minutes you still need to check them now remember I did not turn these or anything I like to make cooking healthy as easy as possible so I'm gonna see if it's cool enough to eat Mm. Yep. Anyway, try them. Yum. Um, and just see if they don't satisfy you. All right, loves. Thank you so much for subscribing, for following me, for liking, for commenting, for sharing your experiences with me, for asking questions and asking for advice. I love and appreciate you all. So very, very much. Thank you.